because I knew that you was okay. Uh -huh. And when God, when I've done something that displeases the Lord, and I, the Holy Spirit speaks, you know, it kind of nudges you and says, mm -hmm. you shouldn't have said that. Why did you say that to us? And you know, I don't know, you all may be better than me, but sometimes I have mouth off and say something that I regret. <laughs> And, uh, until we get a right. never do that. <laughs> you know, Lord, we'll get a vacation for liars if they don't. <laughs> <laughs> this is not going the way I had planned. I was going to be dignified today. Oh, no, this is great. <laughs> I knew better. I up on God doing it the right way. I mean, who would believe? I used to walk on the coach and say, God, I really messed up tonight. And he, because I found out that I could be funny and make the point and people would have joy and they walked out feeling better than they walked in. But I didn't understand that at first. And I was in Aberdeen, Maryland, I'll never forget it. And it was a large church, it was my first time there. It didn't matter what I said, those people laughed. Mm -hmm. I mean, I didn't even mean to be funny and they laughed. <laughs> and I was, I was fed up and I, here I was coming up to the invitation and, and they're still laughing, and I'm like, oh, this isn't good. I'm, this is, I'm failing big time. They booked me back. They bought all kinds of CDs. They gave me a love lawyer. I get on the coach, and I'm driving down. Lord, I am so sorry. I failed you so badly tonight. All they did was laugh. I'm not a comedian. I don't, you know, blah, blah, blah. And Lord let me talk a while, and then he finally said, George, shut up! <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> he said, my people need to laugh. <clears throat> They're so burned down. Thank they don't need to go in church and get beat on and thumped on and beaten down some more. Amen. I said, okay, are you telling me it's okay for me to be funny? I gave you that gift of laughter, of joy. Share it. So I did. <laughs> now I've gone over there. Okay, lastly, salvation brings joy to us and to heaven as well. Isaiah 12, 3 says, Therefore with joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. Have you been to the well of salvation? If you have been to that well, it's the sweetest water in the world. Mm. It's the best water. And it will quench <coughs> your thirst. You see, you and I are to be salt. And one of the things that salt does is create thirst. And our lives should be such that when people look at us, they want what we got. That's right. Because if you don't create thirst, what good are you? That's right. Amen. The salt is useless. And so I want to create thirst. I want people to look at me and say, hey, I, I need what she's got. She, somehow she goes through all this stuff and she's still joyful. How does she do that? Well, you do it because God does it through you. Amen. Luke 15, 10 says, likewise, I say to you, there is joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner who repents. And in Luke 15, 7, he says, I say to you that likewise there will be more joy in heaven over one city, sinner who repents than over 99 just people who need no repentance. That's right. Amen. Amen. And I love that. You know, after Denver went home, I don't know how other people experienced it. Denver and I were married for 28 years, and the spiritual was so such a big deal with us. A lot of couples don't seem to have that, but that had been what brought us together. He was a pastor. I was, I mean, I, I've been cut out for ministry all my life. And, and, and it just, you know, so much of, of our relationship centered around God. And I remember thinking the first time somebody came and accepted Christ in one of my services, they ever got news of me today. Because there's rejoicing in the presence of the angels who's still under each one the saints of God, the ones who have been redeemed. Mm -hmm. The angels don't understand redemption. They sang on mm -hmm. Christmas night and announced to the world that a Savior had come, but they don't get it mm -hmm. because they can't receive that. They don't need it mm -hmm. in the first place. But for us, it is great joy and so when somebody came and accepted Jesus and they were writing down that name in heaven and Dip was up there saying, oh, that's my baby down there. She's seen another one come into the family of God. Amen. Amen. That's joyful to me. Amen. 
Yeah. Sure. Should be to all the neighbors. It's joyful. It's full of joy. Joy unspeakable and full of glory.